President John F. Kennedy, a naval hero and true football fan, was eager to attend the annual Army-Navy game on November 30, 1963. I hope to be on the winning side when the game ends, he telegrammed the Navy coach. But on November 22nd, Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas. As America mourned, the game was postponed from its original date. Then, on Saturday, December 7th, before a packed crowd in Philadelphia, Army and Navy met for the 63rd time. Navy had beaten Army four straight years, and again the midshipmen were strong. Led by Heisman candidate Roger Staubach, the midshipmen held a 21-7 lead with just over 10 minutes to play. But Army was not finished. Behind quarterback Raleigh Stickway, the cadets closed the gap to 21-15. And after Stickway recovered an onside kick, he led Army to the Navy one-yard line. But there, with the crowd noise deafening, the cadets ran out of time. Navy and Staubach came out on top. JFK's widow, Jacqueline Kenny, had urged the playing of the 1963 game in her husband's memory, saying that it would be a fitting tribute. And it was.